Hello everyone, this is day two of our Komodo Island exploration. We started the morning with a sunrise hike up Padar Island. It was so beautiful. Hello, we are on Komodo Island. Now the islands there are so far apart that this was like a two hour boat ride to get to Komodo. We met up with a ranger who guided us through the trek. We didn't see any Komodos until the very end at this little watering hole. And I think our guide really loved Americans or something because he insisted on giving me the photo and he called us the Americans and was like, I give the best photo for the Americans and he asked everyone to move over for the Americans. It was a little embarrassing because me and Alex are totally like, what? Uh, no, like, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Hello. Look here, look here. But he absolutely insisted there was no arguing with him and he ended up getting a pretty epic photo. What do you think of the dragons? They're really big. They seem lazy too. They're right just now. hanging out. We are on the top of a boat just leaving Komodo Island where we saw not one but four Komodo dragons. body weight at once and so they go from like 90 kilos and then after eating they're like 175 kilos at our island oh yeah it was super cool we went at sunrise and it was gorgeous i highly recommend sunrise on our island. yeah get there as early as possible So honey, yes. what do you see there? We are seeing three Komodo dragons. Yeah, that's awesome. On Rinka Island. We've seen though, how many so far? Six? Oh, a lot. So uh, this is the nest, the piece of three Komodo dragons to lay your eggs. So the Komodo dragon like a Dracula. Like a tarantula, they can take water from the blood from the brain. Yeah, yeah no, like a tarantula. Our park ranger, I guess he was, was amazing and hilarious and it was just overall a much better experience than our Komodo Island was. So if you come to Komodo National Park and you have to choose one, choose Rinka.
So we enjoyed Komodo National Park. The base where you spend your time when you're not in National Park. Yeah, the main town is L called Labuan Bajo. Yeah, it's on Flores, and that was confusing to us at first. And Labuan Bajo, to be quite frank, it's a tourist town. Although they do have some nice places to eat. You could get healthy food because they are so used to catering to tourists. There are several restaurants that cater to like fresh ingredients. Stay tuned next week as we are headed further east to West Papua to specifically Raja Ampa. I guess I could see how they would sneak up on you. There's a lot of stuff for them to hide in and I do blind. <laughs> I think he's just sending us love. It's just the eyes of love right now. Oh, don't, no, it's okay. Don't, let's not, let's not throw. Oh, is it west? East. <laughs> okay. He headed to... Hold on, let's do that again. There's a loud boat. Yeah. My goodness. So those of you saw our last video, we're still in the same place as before, this nightmare of a, of a situation we've been in.